fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. The pioneers who blazed the trail into the western United States were faced with the danger of hostile Indians for many years. Without warning, the savages would sweep down from the hills and destroy whole towns. The government sent troops to protect the white settlers, but the officers knew very little about frontier warfare, and without the Lone Ranger's help, without his courage and resourcefulness, his daring and his knowledge of the country, the West would never have been safe. Return with us now to those thrilling days when adventure lay at the end of every trail. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Red Fox has been seen near Otisville. We've got to hurry! Hi, old Silver! Hawaii! <laughs> Otisville was a crossroads hamlet containing a general store, a bar, a blacksmith shop, and a dozen modest homes that were little more than cabins. In one of these, at some distance from the others, were three women and a child. The child, a young girl, stood gazing from a window. The women were busily sewing, and... My, sewing don't seem half the work when you got company in. Another cup of tea, Edna? No, thanks, Marion. I never drink more than one at a sitting. Don't hold with pampering the flesh. <laughs> well, maybe Maud Dillon would like one. Aggie? Hey. Tea? Another cup of tea? Hey, what's that? What's that about Lee? Not Lee. Tea. Would you like more tea? Oh, that's right. Lee's a mighty fine boy. I said... Ma! Don't interrupt, child. I... Ma, what's all the noise for? I, I hear guns. Guns? Oh, merciful heavens. Gee, what's the matter? Men folks coming home. Well, I... I'm, I'm scared. <coughs> Edna! Oh, the wind are there. It's just Ma. The other window. Another Oh, no. <laughs> Three days later, two horsemen sat astride mounts on the crest of a hill. Santo, if those Indians learn your purpose, they'll kill you. Oh, Tonto, not afraid. I wouldn't let you risk it if Chief Red Fox hadn't taken those women captive. They'll be made slaves if they aren't rescued. Uh, the soldiers won't be able to pick up their trail. Soldier, look other time. Never find them. Red Fox is clever at hiding a trail. And once in the hills, the best of trailers would be lost. Our only chance is for you to find Red Fox, join his war party, and somehow leave signs that the cavalry can follow. Don't do that. And you've got to find Red Fox before he reaches the hills. Me find him. And another thing. Uh, what's that? Investigate this rumor that renegade white men are behind these raids. Uh-huh. I believe there's truth in it. The raids are too well planned. Things are seized that would have value only for whites. That's right. I'll hide my mask, put on a disguise, and find Captain Grayson's troop. Uh. 
Take no chances that aren't necessary, Kimasabi. And good luck. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Come on, Silver. Hello, Silver. Away. The following day, the troop, led by Captain Grayson, halted at a point just short of the hills. Orderly. Yes, sir. Our scouts were to meet us here. I believe that's Jib now, sir. Very well, stand by. Yes, sir. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Whoa there. Whoa. Whoa. Well, Jeb. Captain, it's just like last time. No sign? Nary a bit. Them blasted heathens leave a trail as far as here, and then it just peters out. Where have you looked? Where ain't we? I'm telling you, me and Osage scouted every doggone gully, arroyo, and valley we could find. Red Fox is somewhere in those hills. You ever try doing any trailing there, Captain? Of course it's difficult, but... Begging your pardon, sir, it's worse than that. Half them hills ain't nothing but malpai. Just lava that was left here to get hard as brick back when this was all volcano country. A herd of buffalo rampaging through there wouldn't leave no sign. I'm aware of that. Well, then, I'm also see aware what... that Red Fox has four prisoners. One an old lady, and one just a child. Furthermore, Red Fox has been raiding almost at will for nearly six months. General Woolsey has issued orders to get him at any cost. Well, he can't want them murdering vomit caught any more than we want to catch him. There's no use following blindly and trusting the luck. And it looked like a hunting for a needle in a whole county full of haystacks. But somewhere, Red Fox must have left sign behind him. We make camp here until we find it. Don't know what else we could do. Orderly. Yes, sir. Tell the men we're making camp. There's a horseman, sir. Who? Oh, yes. Hello, Silver! Hold that order back until I speak to this fellow. We may have news. Yes, sir. Captain Grayson! Right here! Oh, Silver! Oh, 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 oh. I'd like to have a word with you, sir. Who are you? I'll tell you that in private. I've got to... Have a reason, Captain. You have a troop at your back. You think I'm trying to trick you? Orderly, if this fellow attempts anything suspicious, the men are to open fire. Very well, sir. Lead the way, stranger. Come on, Silver. This will do. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Now then. We've met before, Captain. I didn't want to disclose my identity in front of your men. I don't recall you. The last time we met, I wore a mask. A mask? It was during an Indian campaign. I brought your commanding officer a message from General Custer. Mm, that was in the north. Right. You called your horse Silver. Then you do remember. The man I remember is known as the Lone Ranger. Yes, but the Lone Ranger is never seen without a mask. The mask is in my saddlebag. I'm wearing a disguise. Hand me one of your guns. Here. I can soon tell whether you're an imposter or not. Silver bullets. Are you satisfied? I am. Here you are. Then listen to me, Captain. You're after Red Fox. I believe I can lead you to him. How? I have a friend, an Indian. Tonto. I've heard of him. I left him yesterday. He was going to try to join Red Fox before his party reached the hills. If he succeeded, he's leaving a trail for us to follow right now. And I'm afraid he failed. My scouts have made a thorough search and have found nothing. And I doubt that Red Fox entered the hills at this point. His trail leads here. And so you decided he went in the hills at once? I doubt it. Red Fox would be too clever for that. I think you'll find he headed west, following the edge of the hills and entering them further on. Why west? Why not to the east? The hills thin out to the east. The character of the ground is different. He'd have more difficulty hiding his trail. Then... I'd suggest you ride west with your troop. I'll ride ahead and look for Tonto's sign. Unless Red Fox suspected Tonto, it'll be waiting for us. And if Red Fox did suspect Tonto... We won't think of that. And I doubt that Tonto would be known. Every tribe in this part of the country hates the whites. Since Red Fox's victories, more and more braves have joined him. He'd have no reason to think Tonto wasn't one of them. You'll ride ahead? And wait at the point where the war party turned into the hills. Good. The troop rides at once. Follow the edge of the hills and we'll meet. Come on, Silver! Come on, boy. Bugler! Yes, sir? Double time, march. Right, sir. that white men planned the raid was correct. Scar Morgan and Dade Billings had shrewdly turned the unrest of the Indians to their own profit. Chief Red Fox, vicious and warlike, colored their counsel and gave them the pick of his loot. 
Now at their hidden camp, we see Scar, Dade, and Chief Red Fox in the wigwam where the women are being held prisoners. You, you traitors, you'll hang for this. White men sending redskins again their own kind. You ain't men, you're the lowest snakes there ever was. <laughs> Regular spitfire, ain't she, Dade? Husky, too. Ought to get plenty of war from selling her for a slave to one of them tribes west of ways. Likely, but I wish Red Fox hadn't took him prisoner just the same. Slaves, you... Oh, you could Shut up. Mm, granny there, she's getting along. Don't reckon she'll fetch much. Huh. Young man, that just shows what a fool you are. Uh, thought you was deep. I can hear when I'm a mind to. Then see if you got the sense to know when to keep your lip buttoned. The young in there, she won't fetch much neither. Mama... What are they going to do? Us, darling, we, we'll be all right. Listen, here's sort of persnickety looking. But I reckon she can work. Yeah. You beast. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. They don't act like we're welcome. Come on, Red Fox. Uh. Just wait till the soldiers catch you. <laughs> Ma'am, we've been waiting for quite some spell. Keep a close watch on them females in there, Injun. Uh, hey, who's this one? Ain't seen him before. Him, Tonto. Yeah? Tonto, huh? Just join up? That's right. Him hate pale face like Red Fox hate him. Good. Well, remember what I said, Tonto. You keep a sharp watch. Tonto, do that. Come along, fellas. Look, Scar. Stealing women folk is the one thing that's sure to get everybody in this part of the country head up. I don't like it. Oh, quit your worrying. Me sell pale face squaw. Get a much wampum. You get wampum, too. We was doing all right before. I'd rather just keep on helping ourselves with guns and liquor and things like that. Don't get people so fighting mad. <laughs> Let them get riled. Still can't lay their hands on us, can they? No, I reckon not. Red Fox, things have been going fine. Ah, uh, Lopto Caput. Chief Red Fox, him great chief. Him heap big warrior. Sure, and you know why? Because me and Dade here have been planning things for you. Telling you when to raid and where and what to watch out for. Uh. Now, you just keep on doing things the way we tell you. And one of these days, the tribes will be saying you're the greatest war chief there ever was. Well, they'll think more of you than Geronimo or Sutton Bull or anybody. There's more braves joining up every week. Won't be long till you'll have a flower that'll be big enough to wipe the soldiers right off the map. <laughs> and while we're waiting, you and me and Dade here will be getting plenty rich. You friend, Red Fox. Me do like you say. Yes, don't forget. Next thing we ought to... Hey, what's that lookout yelling? No, Lato. Manik the Talut. What? Him say pale face warrior come. Soldier. Oh, it... Listen, they're halting. They've sighted the camp. Get my horse. But we got to... Don't get... ask questions. I gotta act fast or there'll be lead flying around here so think you can drown in it. Mule Tona! Tona Mule! I'll order a charge. Wait. We can't Not wait. Yet. They can't escape. But you'd lose half your men storming their We'd position. We'd have the advantage of a surprise. You wouldn't. See that sentinel on top of that rock? He's already given the warning. Then what will we do? Scout their camp. Find a weak spot if we can. Take time to decide our best course. Mm, perhaps you're right. Circle their camp. Make sure they can't slip away. We'll do that at once. Parker! Lieutenant Parker! One moment, Captain. W well, I'll be... That's Scar Morgan. That dirty renegade. He sure got his nerve. Captain, let me shoot him down. Blast him off his horse. Kill the skunk! Don't fire. He's carrying a white flag. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I got a bomb you. We'll see what he has to say. Rain up! <laughs> You're one of the snakes working with Red Fox. Call me what you like, but you'd better listen to what I say. Talk. I don't know how you trail us here, but you're going to call off your men and give us a chance to get away. Impossible. Yeah. You Just talk. hold on. You catch us now and there ain't a one of us that won't hang. Ain't that so? Or get shot. Just so. Well, we can't get killed more than once. So I'm telling you this. We got them women. Either you let us get away... Find them women dead. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Scar Morgan spoke with Captain Grayson and the Lone Ranger for some time, then returned to the Indian stronghold. No sooner had he left than Grayson turned to his companion and... Why did you tell him to wait until tomorrow for an answer? You know his terms are impossible. If I consented to any such proposition, I'd be court-martialed. The fact remains the women are in their power, and Scar meant exactly what he said. But we can't... They know capture means death. They have nothing to lose by shooting the women if we attack. But to just withdraw and, and let them get away, why, it's unthinkable. I agree. We couldn't even know they'd keep their word. There'd be nothing to stop them taking the women along with them. I said I agree with you. Then... I haven't advised you to let them escape. I merely suggested waiting 24 hours before making a decision. But when there's only one possible decision... We still gain time. What good is time now? We'd never have found their camp if Tonto hadn't joined them and left signs on the trail he knew I'd understand. What has that to do with it? Tonto is still with Red Fox. Hmm. You sound as though you have something in mind. I have. What? Tonto knows I'm here. He'll realize that it's likely I'll try and get in touch with him before the night is out. There's no way to talk with Tonto unless you... You're not thinking of... Of entering their camp? I am. If you're caught... In that case, you'd have to carry on in whatever way you thought best. Man, it, it, it's out of the question. How would you find him at night? How would he know where to look for you? We have our signals. But the risk... Captain, there's just one way we can free those women and still capture Red Fox and his band. I know of none. There is one way. What? Indians fear one thing above all others. We'll use that fear. Now make camp. When night comes, I'm speaking to Tonto. The troop made camp throughout detachments to make sure that Red Fox could not escape, then settled down for a period of uneasy waiting. That night, however, the shadowy figure of a man crept toward the stronghold of the Red Men. At regular intervals, he paused, and the low, mournful cry of the owl was heard through the night. Another figure crept from the Indian's camp. The two men met in the deep shadow of an overhanging boulder and spoke together in subdued tones. Finally, you understand, Tonto? Mm, yes, savvy. You sure you weren't seen when you left camp? Uh, why you not wear a mask? I was in disguise when I introduced myself to Captain Grayson. I've kept the disguise so the soldiers wouldn't ask questions. Mm. We'd better part. Be as careful on your return as when you came here. Uh, Tonto, be heap careful. Then good luck. <laughs> We've been discovered. Uh, Quick, don't argue. Put your gun on me. Pretend you discovered me spying and that I'm your prisoner. Tonto, not You must. No matter what happens to me, you can't be suspected. Everything depends on you. They must believe you're on their side. Hurry, I'll fire a shot. Grab me as though preventing escape. Uh, Let me get you. You not get away. Let go. Hey, what's going on here? Him spy. Let me catch him. Grab that fellow. I'll lick him. Who him? Him. Him spy. Come to see him, catch him. Let me get a look at him. Stand up, you. Well, doggone. <laughs> Tonto, you sure made a catch. Huh? This is one of the two fellers I was palavering with today. This is one of their leaders. Oh. Mister, what was you doing here? You're Dade Billings. That ain't answering me. It's all the answer you'll get. Why, you... Oh, Dade. I'll handle this. Mister, you wasn't here for nothing. And if I wasn't? If you wasn't, you had some scheme in mind. I thought it was kind of funny, you holding out for time to decide about whether to let us get away or not. You didn't want time to make up your mind. What you was after was the chance to try some trick. Yes. And I aim to find out just what that trick is. I see. You got a notion you're going to be stubborn, huh? <laughs> Red Fox. Huh? Now, this hombre ain't going to talk. <laughs> Think you could change his mind for him? Uh, me change him. You heard him, mister. I'll give you your choice. Talk to me willing, or let Red Fox work on you for a while. Do as you wish. Well, that's you that's asking for it. Don't matter to me. You'll talk sooner or later either way. We'll see. Good enough. All right, Red Fox. Take him back into camp. He's yours. In the meantime, surrounded by several of his men, Captain Grayson stared through the night toward the distant campfires. Something happened over there. And I can tell you what, Captain. I'm afraid that... I know. The stranger got caught. I'll bet my boots on it, sir. Well, aren't we going to try to save him? He made the attempt at his own risk. But we should do you something. You forget Red Fox has other prisoners. It's more important to save those women than any one of us. Don't seem right somehow. 
Seems like we ought to be hightailing over there and giving them varmints what for. I know how you feel, Jeb. It doesn't come easy just standing by. Well, it don't seem right. But even the lone... I mean, even the stranger understood we couldn't help him if he were caught. Begging your pardon, Captain, but what was that you started to say? I... Well, I don't suppose it matters if you know. Now. No what, sir? The stranger is the man all of you have heard of as the Lone Ranger. What? The Lone Ranger? Well, strike me for an idiot if I shouldn't have guessed it afore. Why, that horse of his should have been a dead giveaway. But what was he up to? I doubt that we'll ever know. Huh? Captain, you mean to say he didn't even tell you? He told me we couldn't help. So it was better that he didn't explain. That's a Lone Ranger, all right. That's just the way that fellow does things. He said also that his plan depended upon communication with Tonto. If he failed in that, none of us could succeed. There was no point in telling us his scheme. Sir, you you said it didn't matter now if you told us what the stranger was. He asked me to keep his identity a secret. Yeah? I, well, I doubt that he'll ever find out I didn't. The Lone Ranger had been taken into the center of the Indian camp and there bound firmly to the trunk of a tree. Red Fox was acquainted with many forms of savage torture. His captive, however, refused to break his silence. At dawn, Scar Morgan said, I'll be blasted if I'm going to fool around with you much longer. You going to talk or ain't you? I told you I'm not. If you don't, you ain't going to live long. Perhaps. Ah, you... Talk to you. Huh? Oh, howdy, Donald. You want to try your hand with this feller? You caught him. Reckon you got the right to if you hanker after it. Oh, that's not it. Well? Hail, face, squaw. Them not feel good. Maybe you better look. Uh, 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 either just putting on or getting the chills on account of being scared. You look. Them heap sick. I ain't got the time. I gotta make this blame fool talk. Red Fox. What matter? Tondo says there's something wrong with the women folks. Suppose you take a look. Uh, me look. All right, mister. I ain't forgot you. You held out again the chief. But you're going to find out I'm something different again. Yes. You can just lay to what I am. Red Fox blistered you up some, didn't he? Well. <laughs> well, I'm starting in where he left off. Dave. Uh-huh. Give me one of them sticks from the fire. Sure. Make sure it's burning good. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Thank you. See this, mister? I do. Got any notions how this would feel? I can guess. <laughs> you don't need to. I'll save you the trouble. Fact is, I'm going to show you. Maybe if you I... You'll not burn them. Huh? Don't, don't, don't stand back. Why, are you loco fool? What are you buttoning in oh, for? Hey, huh? Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. What in the hey, instance of going crazy? Take them to the horses. What's got into them? Come on. Red Fox. Hey, hey Red Fox. what are you doing there? Tonto, it worked. Cut these ropes. Uh, do that. I won't be noticed. Stay here with the women. Uh, I'll head for the soldiers. Captain Grayson had kept watch throughout the night, hoping against hope that the Lone Ranger had escaped death. Then suddenly his dawn broke and life returned to the camp. He leapt to his feet. A man was running down the trail toward him. It's him. He got away. It's the Lone Ranger. Look at him. Looks like he's gone through plenty. Hi there. Captain, tell your men to mount. Get ready to charge. You hear that, men? To the saddle. Yeah. Uh, Captain, look beyond the Indian's camp. What? They're making a break for us. Right. Here, Silver. Here, fellow. But why are you? I'll explain later. Sound the charge. The women are safe in camp. Red Fox left them behind. Hurry, Bugler, the charge. Come on, Silver! Oh, Silver! With the command to charge, the troops swept forward, thundered through the Indians' deserted camp, and rapidly bore down upon the fleeting savages. As they neared the enemy, Captain Grayson gave the order to fire. Give it to them, boys! Cut them firemen down! Organized, panic stricken, and without a leader, the Indians did their best to save themselves from the soldiers. But their efforts were useless. Better armed, better trained, more courageous, the troopers' attack was irresistible. The red men threw down their weapons. Red Fox, Scar, and Dade surrendered. 
The soldiers ceased fire. Bring those fellows here. Get along with it. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. This fellow was the real leader, Captain. I wasn't. I wasn't no more to blame than any of the others. You I all hang, Scar. It doesn't matter. Now, the women. Let me go. Don't let them get close to me. Let me go. I What's tell the you? matter with it, Scar? You said something back there, Captain, but I couldn't quite catch it. Nate, the only thing you've got to fear is hanging. But the women. There's I tell nothing you. wrong with them. They got smallpox. Here they come. Look at them. Do they look as though they have smallpox? Over here, Tonto. Uh, get up, Scout. By thunder. Well? Tonto, you act like him and you was friends. That's it. You was pards all the time. Oh, Scout. Oh, oh, Scout. Yeah, Tonto and I are partners. Tonto did as I told him. Disguise the women to look as though they had the one fever that will frighten Indians before anything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be switched. Let's go, Tonto. Uh, oh, but wait. Oh, up, Scout. Hell, Oh, it's no use, Jeb. When the Lone Ranger finishes his work, he can't be held. That proves he's the Lone Ranger. You ladies will be returned to your homes immediately. This part of the country has nothing more to fear from Red Fox. I can promise you that. Thanks to those two men. Yes. <laughs> Land sakes. One minute them Redskins wouldn't let us go. And the next minute they skedaddled so fast to get away it was a sight to see. <laughs> and all for an ailment we never even had. <laughs> Come on, Silver, old boy! There's adventure on the trail ahead! Hi, old Silver! Away! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.